copy of it. Who would ever think of the concept of the heterosexual? The heterosexual? You know, you, you, you're, you're the only person on earth and you stand there and you say, I'm heterosexual? <laughs> you know, you don't do that. You just say, well, I'm, I have sexuality, right? You could say that if you had enough jargon at your disposal. You, but you, you could say that. But you can't say, I'm heterosexual. You can't have the concept heterosexual without having the concept homosexual. They are absolutely mutually dependent. And, what, and, this, and it has nothing to do with any possible truth of, uh, of, or, 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 of a chicken and egg nature, you know, with, <laughs> as to what came. In sexuality, the, sup, the very strong supposition is for Butler, neither came first. They're always already there together uh, um, in that psychic accent uh, with which we identify sexuality. But in social terms, the idea that what's natural is the heterosexual and what's unnatural, secondary, derivative, uh, imitative of the heterosexual, the homosexual, is belied simply by the fact that you can't have one conceptually without, without the other. And it's the same thing with gender and drag. Drag comes along. That was an interesting mimic, imitate, transition. Gender. But what it points out is that gender is always in and of itself precisely performance. Holy you know, shit! Uh, any so is the reason is the reason then that that drag queen story hour exists and that the left is really pushing drag. Does that have to do with the fact that drag is like performative of it's, it's almost like an, a mockery of the jet drag is almost like, okay, here's what it is. I think Rottweiler, tell me if I'm right. Or Kyle, is the reason that the left then is pushing drag queen story hour and drag shows and all this stuff, is it because drag is kind of like an open mockery of heteronormative gender roles? Is that what he's saying? This was back in 2009 before drag queen story hour existed. Tayton, you're going to need to be more specific when you say this is what James Lindsay points out. What are you saying specifically? What does James Lindsay point out? No, Brooks, not a mockery of women, a mockery of the gender binary, of, of the heteronormative gender binary. Am I right about that? Let's listen again. I'm going to cue this up again. I did not see that transition coming. Isn't that interesting? Tammy, that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking the specific emphasis on drag. Because remember, this was in 2009. This was before Drag Queen Story Hour existed. Why is drag all of a sudden being brought up in a lecture at Yale University in 2009 about Foucault and Butler? And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he transitions over to drag? Rottweiler and Kyle, I hope you're still here because I'm looking to you two to help me understand this. That you can't have one conceptual without, without the other. And it's the same thing with gender and drag. Drag comes along and parody, mimic, imitate gender. But what it points out is that gender is always in and of itself precisely performance. The reason they use drag queen. Oh my fucking God. 
I got it. I got it. I got it. The reason that they're using Drag Queen Story Hour to get to kids is because they are trying to teach kids that gender identity is performative. That's what they're doing it for. To teach kids that they're trying to teach kids effing Judith Butler through Drag Queen Story Hour by showing them that gender identity is performative. They're trying to introduce that nugget of an idea. Am I wrong? That's why it had to be Drag Queen Story Hour to introduce, because drag is the performance of gender. If we're saying like, like going back to Butler, performing being a woman, they're introducing the idea to kids that gender is a performance as a way to get them to question their own gender and to reject the societal construction of gender that is the gender binary. Holy shit. If gender is a performance, then you can change your gender at any time. Wow. Let's just listen to that one more time. Slide simply by the fact that you can't have one conceptual without, without the other. And it's the same thing with gender and drag. Drag comes along and parody. Mimic, mimic. No, Rottweiler, you're not. You're not grasping what I'm saying. The reason I'm, I, I understand the gender is performative. What I am saying is the specific implementation of. I, I, I think most people might not be getting what I'm saying. What I'm suggesting is the reason that they selected Drag Queen Story Hour as a tactic. The reason that Drag Queen Story Hour was all of a sudden pushed into everything, the reason that the left almost seemed to mobilize entirely around this stupid idea of drag queens reading a story to kids in a library, the reason for that specific tactic was to introduce intrinsically the idea of Judith Butler, gender. Per, gender performativity, introducing that idea to children that gender is nothing more than a performance. So I understand that Butler is saying that gender is performative. What I'm suggesting is the selection of that specific tactic and the mobilization of the entire left around the tactic of Drag Queen Story Hour was specifically to target children with the idea, planting that little nugget of an idea that gen like that gender is a performance that they can change at any time. What I meant is uh, drag queens is their entry tool to push the idea of performativity. Drag queens, sadly, are a tool to them. So you agree with me. You agree with me that that was what that was. I've always wondered why it was like drag queens specifically that all of this stuff kind of bubbled up around. I'm like, drag queens are just fun. They put on a good show, not for kids, all this stuff. But it's like, once again, the goddamn conservative right missed the entire point. The point was not to introduce sexuality to children. The point was to introduce the idea that gender is a performance. This is, God damn it. This is how the conservative right fucks everything up. In that they don't go back to try to understand why the left is doing what they're doing. Drag Queen Story Hour was not about sexualizing children. Drag Queen Story Hour was about introducing the idea that gender is performative. Which is so much more dangerous, guys. Sexualizing children does not attack the gender binary. 
which does not attack the nuclear family, which does not attack capitalism, introducing kids to the idea that gender is performative is what leads to 40% of kids in schools identifying as gender queer, gender fluid, gender non-binary, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Without, without the other. And it's the same thing with gender and drag. Drag comes along and parody, mimic, imitate gender. But what it points out is that gender is always in and of itself precisely performance. All right. So we got a couple of good clips out of that. I think that 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 thing about so the thing about drag queen story hour is obviously like the most eventful thing in that whole thing, which is the specific reason why they implemented drag queen story hour, which once again, the conservative right has just effed up 19 ways from Sunday. And that's this stuff honestly really pisses me off. It really pisses me off that the conservative right for years has been about it's sexualizing children, it's sexualizing children, it's sexualizing children, it's sexualizing children, groomer, 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 groomer. And because they did that, they missed the actual point of what Drag Queen Story Hour actually was. Which was like, it was about introducing the idea that gender is performative. That's what it actually was. And because, again, the conservative right did not understand the problem they were fighting, the solutions that they came up with are not actually going to fix the problem. Because... Even if even if you get you get the the idea of drag you even if you ban drag queen story hour entirely, which they are never going to be able to do because libraries are public institutions and therefore everyone has access to the same resources. So they're never going to be able to ban it. But even if they did, the left would just take that idea that gender is performative and they would introduce it in a new way. So that 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 idea, that nugget of the idea, how many, this is the question that I have. How many ways in which, how many ways is the left currently introducing the idea to kids that gender is performative? That's what needs to be paid attention to. Not the sexualization bit, which it wasn't about sexualization in the first place. How many ways is the left introducing to kids the idea that gender is performative? They're doing it through Drag Queen Story Hour. They're doing it through social emotional learning. How else are they doing it? They're doing it through Drag Queen Story Hour. They're doing it through social emotional learning. They're doing it through children's books. They're doing it through games. Well, no, drag is sexual. This is not, this is not a good argument. Drag is sexual, but that's not the problem. The problem is that it's introducing to kids that gender is performative as a strategy to disrupt the gender binary. TV shows, Prometheus says in the chat. Children's TV shows have non-binary characters. Not the point. Not the point. Not the point at all. Not the point at all. In any way, not the fucking point. The point is... God fucking damn it. I can't even get my own chat to listen to me. The point is that one of the that the goal of queer theory is to abolish the gender binary. In order to do that, they need to get kids to question the idea of gender. In order to do that, they introduce the idea that gender is performative in 8000 different ways. 
and the right is so focused on grooming, 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 that they miss the the actual problem, which is the introduction of the idea that gender is performative. And all of the different ways in which they introduce the idea to kids that gender is performative. We are so fucked. We are so fucked. It's not even, it's not even funny how fucked we are. It is not even funny how fucked we are. All right. That's all I have for right now.